Tonight, 20,000 fans descend on Adelaide Oval to honour slain coach Phil Walsh. A man found dead with his throat slashed at the Crown Metropole Hotel. The Good Samaritan who stopped a drink driver five times the legal limit. Pressure mounts on James Hurd as St Kilda delivers a 110-point humiliation. Police swoop on unruly teens inside a McDonald's. And Bernard Tomic axed from the Davis Cup squad. This is Nine News with Alicia Roxley. Good evening. On the day Phil Walsh was set to lead his team at Adelaide Oval, thousands of supporters have filed into the stadium to pay their respects to the Crows coach. As Seb Costello reports, organisers of the event were overwhelmed by the massive turnout. Initially, one grandstand had been left open to fans at the Adelaide Oval. By mid-afternoon, 20,000 stood in silence. They were there to mark a match that couldn't be played. A commemorative siren was planned, but the show of respect that followed was completely spontaneous. <laughs> the oval turf then filled with footballs, a show of passion for a man passionate about the game. We really wanted to do to, to help the Adelaide Football Club and the Walsh family in particular, uh, but the broader community at this terrible time. AFL football had been cancelled this weekend, but football supporters could not be kept away. Among them, Geelong fans who travelled from Victoria for a game of footy, but found themselves in the middle of something far more important. We've got to come here to show our respect. Doesn't matter what team you go for. The largest group of Adelaide fans marched to the ground in silence behind a special banner, a grassroots rally that had grown from an idea online. I was, I was speechless, you know, I was looking at my um, event page and it started off with 100 people. I didn't expect this many people to rock up. Stadium management opened the gates early, such were the crowds out in the courtyard. This was an afternoon that was about community spirit and community support. The turnout far exceeding the expectations of stadium management, staff members working for free and the afternoon finishing in the only way that seemed fit with a mass game of kick to kick. Much exceeded my expectations and uh, I'm so proud that it has. The Crows' other home at Football Park remained a focus of emotion. You could see it today. But... You can see today, I mean, like the way that everyone's feeling and the way that everyone's come out for him to say goodbye. Behind closed doors, Scott Camperiali firmed as a favourite interim coach, while the club focused its support on Meredith Walsh and 22-year-old Quinn, who arrived back in Australia from the USA. I'm just uh, touched by it all. He was a family man and I'm a mum and, yeah, I just feel for it, the whole family. Formal funeral arrangements are yet to be announced as the city plans to tackle the healing process as one. Seb Costello, Nine News.